Hello everyone and welcome to this Monday trading day. Okay, let's go over some charts here for today and look for some setups for tomorrow. I want to start with this, with this SPY as you can see this morning. We got a gap down and from the open we saw a buy the dip mentality. So our first big bar up. We never came to this uh, major support area of uh, 168.20 to 168.15. And from the open, the markets went higher to gap fill, 50 moving average, as you can see. And from that point on, we went a little bit sideways, trading a little bit lower now. So we will see where this market will close. But uh, my expectation is that we will close around the flat line. So on the upside, first resistance will be uh, if we can uh, close below, uh, above this 50 moving average. I can see uh, a push to this uh, 200 moving average. That will be my first resistance at uh, the current price is 169.55. On the downside, first support will be a, will be a pierce of this uh, double bottom to the 168.20, and then after that we have the 167.52 and the gap fill of uh, 167.12. This will be possibly a, a long play for tomorrow if we get there. And on the upside, we still have this as a major resistance, this level, 160.12. And then we have this uh, gap window at uh, 170.46 and this gap fill at uh, 170.73. Okay, let's jump over to some other scalps that I did today. I also uh, posted this on Twitter. So if you'd like to follow us, join us on Twitter. It's StockHunter1984. So the first uh, scalp that I posted on Twitter this morning was this uh, 200 moving average on Apple. The 463 area, it came uh, to 462.98. Missed the fill here, I was looking for a little pierce of the even number. And as you can see, uh, a quick pullback of uh, $1.40. And then my second scalp that I did today on, uh, on Apple was this pivot high at uh, 470, 467, excuse me. And also here a quick pullback. Then we made this inside, uh, inside bear flag, inside this red candle. And also during lunch we saw a little sell-off in Apple to the 20 moving, aver moving average, and now uh, a push higher. So the next major resistance on Apple will be this level, the 471.63 as first level. Now let's see for a second level. Let's see here. So the double top will be first uh, resistance. And after that, hmm, let's jump over to the daily chart. After this level, I have a, a major level at uh, 481, uh, 482, oh wait, excuse me. Okay, let's go over some other names here. Let's start with JP Morgan. As you can see, JP Morgan gap down this morning and we saw one one big flush on the stock. And from that point on, with the lower volume, JP Morgan traded higher to the 20 moving average. And now we're seeing, seeing some hovering below this uh, 20 moving average. If we can close above this 20, I can see uh, easily a push up to the highs of the day with the 50 moving average as first resistance. The scalp uh, short, the first level here will be this gap fill at 54.53. Then we have this consolidation at uh, 54.68. And then we have the 200 moving average with this pivot high at the price of uh, 55.10. Okay, let's go over some weaker names today. Exxon Mobil is, is one of them. I tried to scalp uh, Exxon Mobil on the retrace of this bottoming tail this morning. This failed, so uh, I went out for a small loss of 10 cents. And as you can see, Exxon Mobil is uh, floating lower. Now let's find some uh, support levels for today and tomorrow. So the first big level will be still this uh, 89.58, this pivot low. And then uh, it will be uh, 
the next support will be uh, not until 88 81 this consolidation area then I see uh, another small level at 88 48 and then we have this pivot low at 88 even number on the upside resistance on Exxon Mobil first resistance will be the double top from today then we have this gap fill at 9070 then we have this pivot high at 9090 and then the big level will be the 200 moving average at uh, 9111 and then we have a gap fill and a gap window first the gap window at 9834 and then this gap fill at 9876 okay guys as always thanks for watching I see you all tomorrow for a new update. Don't forget to subscribe. And I see you all on Tuesday for a new update.